Healthy Boundaries When we were young, the adults in our lives set boundaries to keep us healthy and safe. They set our schedules for bedtimes and mealtimes, and they pretty much chose our friends, and even picked out the clothes we wore each day. But now that we're teenagers, we have more to say about what we do and who we hang out with. We have a lot more freedom to choose. But with freedom comes responsibility. Instead of adults setting all the boundaries for our health and safety, we need to set some boundaries for ourselves. Boundaries are the guidelines and limits we set for ourselves and our relationships. Boundaries help us stay healthy and safe, emotionally, socially, and physically. Boundaries are like invisible fences that help define our place in the world. Our boundaries help us know what is good for our emotions, our relationships, and our bodies. Our boundaries help us take care of ourselves. Let's look at what boundaries might look like. First, it's important to note our boundaries are as unique as we are. We all create our boundaries based on our values and our personalities and our relationships. So how do you know what your boundaries are? By knowing yourself and your emotions. When you're feeling comfortable, confident, and secure, you can be assured that your boundaries are in place. But when you notice that uncomfortable or queasy feeling in your stomach, what if your boundaries may have been crossed? Let's take a look at some strategies for times when your boundaries may have been crossed. Strategy one, pay attention to your emotions and your body. Notice when you're feeling uncomfortable or your stomach isn't feeling quite right. That uneasy, uncomfortable feeling may be your body's way of sending you a message to put up a boundary and or leave the situation. Strategy two, speak up. When a boundary has been crossed, it's important to let the other person know that you're feeling uncomfortable and want the behavior to stop. Boundaries help us create safe and healthy relationships. A third strategy when you feel that your boundary may have been crossed and talking directly to the person didn't help is to talk with a trusted friend or adult. Talking to someone may help you think through the situation more clearly. And strategy four is trust yourself. Remember, you are in charge of your emotions and your body. Trust yourself. If you think your boundary has been crossed, you're right, and you need to make adjustments to feel comfortable. This may include speaking to another trusted friend or adult and or leaving or avoiding the situation. We all have the right to set our own boundaries for the emotional and physical ways we interact with other people. Get to know yourself and your own boundaries and then communicate your boundaries to others. Healthy boundaries are an important way that we take care of ourselves.